So I've been uh, playing Larsen strings actually since many years, since my first year in uh, Conservatoire National Supérieur de Paris with uh, Philippe Muller, I was playing the four Larsen strings. When you're young, you want to play, you know, fast, loud, the reactivity of the string was really incredible, it was powerful, but powerful in a good way, the, the, the sound quality was really incredible. And then I was very lucky to meet Lauritz Larsen when um, I think I was 17 or 18. Well, we got to know each other and, and he's an artist first in, in what he's doing with the strings, but he's a musician, so he knows what he is looking for in terms of projection of the sound, in terms of fastness of the sound, which of course we, we all need and, and probably even more as a cellist because when we have big strings and, and big, big instrument, we need this reactivity. But most of all, the sound quality. With my cello class at the Louis Vuitton Foundation, I insist a lot on the sound. The emotions, the music, the beauty, the sadness, but everything goes through the sound. The sound is the continuation of my voice, of my soul, of my heart. So, if I want to be able to tell a story, then I need something which is able to reproduce that. And, well, I'm lucky to have Larsen strings because with, with Larsen strings I am able to, to find what I'm looking for in the sound. So I want to say a big thank you to Lauritz Larsen, to Larsen strings and all his team for making this possible and for still trying to go beyond that. Thank you very much.